two things. Well, I was, it was one is a comment and one is actually a question. One, I, I got to be honest, me personally, the police have been actually sensitive to my situation. I, I know on at least two occasions where they uh, where they protected my my own well-being, my personal well-being, unsolicited from me. Uh, so I appreciate that. Huge gap New Year's Eve. Uh, you know, New York Times and everything, and I think that you made the point of the night, given the national narrative, and given what the culture of our town is like, that the council has a tremendous opportunity to be like a leader in progressive law enforcement. One of the reasons that you were on the front page of New York Times is because their travel editor is a, is a woman that I went to school with here in Yellow Springs. At that time, we all knew Officer Grody because his sister was my music teacher. We all knew Officer Banner's children. We all knew Officer Nipper's children. And now we are being policed by what feels like an alien force. Huge gaffe on New Year's Eve. I saw it all go down. I was there with my children, and I was there with my friends and neighbors. In all fairness, the crowd was drunk because it was New Year's Eve. And I left early because nobody felt completely right. So I am trying to be balanced and fair. But what I did want to know is what is this pool of law enforcement that you can pull a chief out of that is special enough to police this town, which is wildly unique. So I would, I would beseech the council to look deeply and to look hard because, I mean, we got, I mean, this is a golden opportunity. Literally, you could kill the game. In this Trump era, this is an opportunity to show everybody that local politics reigns supreme. We can make our corner of the world outstanding. So I'm just begging you to find a candidate that matches the culture of this town, which is, which is incredibly unique, which is renowned for being incredibly unique. That's all I want to say. Thank you, Thank you very much.